Okay, so we're with Nick and we want to do envelope work for the mouse. So go ahead and go back in your timeline, Nick, so that we can see um, the, uh, the hole. Okay, so that's his sloth character, which is looking fantastic. And then we're going to run an envelope work on the mouse so that we can see it. So Nick has already done a new create new keyframe on this other keyframe. So go ahead and go there, Nick. Okay, and I'll clear my drawings. And go ahead and zoom into it a little bit bigger. Great. Okay. Now I don't see your um, stuff up at the top, but up here um, with it selected, you want to click on the keyframe itself. Okay. And then go up to, I believe it's edit. There we go. Um, is that is that edit? Yep, that's edit. That's not what we want. To the right of it, does it say modify? Um. That's it. Okay, shape. And then, so actually, that's not what we want. We want transform. And then there's envelope. So these are all helpful. Um, so let's just stay on here a second. Distort sometimes is just enough to do what we what we want. But go ahead and click on envelope, and this will feel very much like what we. Um, uh, have in Photoshop for warp. So go ahead and zoom in on it a little bit. Okay, and then what you can do is like pull these points out if we want to make him have a smile. Um, so do you see how like just that simple shift on him uh, mm -hmm. will will do and um, probably enough to have him have uh, different uh, facial expressions. Yeah. And you can you can do um, so that's your first one, which kind of is a little smile. And then if you need to paint, you would just paint a little bit more. But the idea is um, you probably want to keep some places that kind of have a point that stay the same. So probably this top part of his nose would stay the same because on your asset you have a nose that's shaped like this. If you go back in your timeline, yep, right. So you want to keep that in the same place, but you want to move you want to move this stuff around. Um, yeah, and you probably want like a, a open mouth sometimes too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's how you use envelope work. Uh, if it's not, uh, if you're not able to select it, like Nick is right here, you would uh, hit break apart. Which, um, if it's a symbol, that's what you would have to do. Break apart. The shortcut is Command or Control B, or um, modify break apart or edit break apart. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's one of those. OK, Nick, that's the process. And okay. we would turn the mouth into a, into a symbol, um, mm. call it mouth all. Uh, mm. So let me, let me show my screen to show you what that looks like um, okay. on my rig set. Um, Okay, so do you see how in this um, Lizzie file, the mouth has all of the assets built out. So mine are more than line. They've got, they've definitely got other shapes, um, mm -hmm. but um, we can, you can start by just kind of using that envelope or, or um, other things. Uh, with mine, the, the freckles are on the same. Uh, layer, you may want your nose to be on the same layer because it might connect with yours. My character doesn't have a nose. It's often, mm. uh, often the characters with noses and mouths will be on the same so that, because the nose doesn't move. So you want that to be kind of static and yeah. the acting is the, the mouse. So it's possible you want that triangle nose to be on your mouth layer. Well, okay, yeah. Any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Thanks, Nick.